any message to the C9 fans out there that will be looking forward to the playoffs a lot? Yeah, I mean, now it's more fun to watch, honestly. I feel like if we were just, like, shitting on everyone, it would be kind of boring. So I feel like I feel like if we won the split, just winning every game, it would be kind of whatever. But now since, like, we're losing games, and now if we win, it's going to feel much better instead of just a stomp. So, um, yeah, just keep on watching us. I don't know. <laughs>
Um, is there any particular team that you think that you should be wary of? Because C9 would obviously still be um, aiming to make it all the way to the finals. Not really. I mean, I think FlyQuest is first right now, but I don't think they're too good. I mean, it's kind of funny saying that since we're three and four, but if I'm being realistic, I, mean, I think we're losing to ourselves. I don't think we're losing because of other players are just playing so well, maybe besides today, because I think TL ma played their map really well. Um, so I really think if we just get on the same page and just play how we've been playing in their first few games and just play well, I mean, I don't think any team can really contest us. So, yeah. And what's going to take for C9 to go back to that, you know, 2-0 C9 version, like, you know, go back, look at the drafts once again or get the team communication up to notch or? Just everything, honestly. I mean, that's, it's kind of a bad answer because I can't really explain everything, but I guess the most important thing is just solving out what we want to do in drafts, our prios, um, and how we view the game. Yeah, I think that's the most important for us right now. What's your goal okay. for 2024? I mean, maybe when we were through, no, I'd say winning worlds. Um, <laughs> now it's still winning worlds, but yeah, just doing well internationally, of course, but we have to focus on um, LCS first. So just winning LCS first and then doing well internationally. Yeah. There is that announcement that the LCS finals is going to be held in the LA studio rather than going to another city and doing the whole road show and I know the fans aren't completely happy but I just wanted to get a player perspective on it especially that playing on the big stage gives you a lot of experience but if it's too oversensitive subject I'll skip it I'm not sure if it's oversensitive but I just think my opinion that I mean I don't like it I mean I understand like it's really expensive and stuff so I mean but obviously I would love to play in a big arena because it just feels so much more important and just the energy you can't really match if you're playing in a small studio right so um yeah it sucks but what can i do you know i think like it adds an extra stake for players playing not that nobody's not trying hard in my opinion yeah for sure yeah, yeah. i agree any message to the c9 fans out there they will be looking forward to the playoffs a lot yeah i mean now it's more fun to watch honestly i feel like if you're just like shitting on everyone it would be kind of boring so i feel like I feel like if we won the split, just winning every game, it would be kind of whatever. But now, since like we're losing games, and now if we win, it's going to feel much better instead of just a stomp. So, um, yeah, just keep on watching us. I don't know. Promise me that you're not going to become a 2020 Street Flag Quest. Of course not. <laughs> don't even say that. I don't know. I just wanted to say that. Hey, um, Jojo, thank you so much for this interview. Any final words? Not really. I'm just going to focus on... Mm -hmm winning i guess i mean that's mm -hmm. all they want to see right so let's try winning yeah cool sounds good i'll let you go and hopefully i'll see you with more victory interviews sounds good bye thank you see you